What's good YouTube, it's Adam from I'm a Music Mogul and welcome to another remake video. Today we'll be remaking Future's track Life is Good featuring Drake. Today we're going to be doing Drake's part and in another video we'll be doing Future's part, so the A part, B part. So let's get straight to it. For the Drake part, the tempo is 163 beats per minute. Sorry, 163.5 beats per minute. When I did a count on it, that's what it was. So that's what we're going to put in, that 0.5 on the 163. And uh, let's go ahead and start off with those main, that main pad sound that you hear throughout the entire A part. So we're gonna go ahead and draw in those chords, but we gotta go bring in the sound first. So the sound that we're gonna bring in is a synthesizer, can be found under synthesizer, under pad. And we're gonna bring in the classic analog pad right over here. So let's go ahead and uh, draw in those chords. chords right over here. All right, so we do got to manipulate this sound a little bit. What we're going to do right here is bring in the EQ and we're going to filter out a lot of the top end, a lot of the bottom end, and uh, we'll start just molding up this sound to sound more like the one in the track. So let's cut out the top end. We'll add a little bit of resonance to get that hollow sound. But now we gotta cut out a lot of the bass so that this doesn't ring out too much. Cut out that. All right, so there's the sound right there. The good thing about this pad, it already comes bundled with like a tremolo, which gives you that wobbly, wavy sound on this pad. So there's our pad sound right over there. Next, let's go and create a new software instrument track and bring in Logic's Alchemy. And uh, we're gonna bring in a preset here found under vocals. It's going to be uh, the Aurora Haze preset. And let's go ahead and bring in this pattern or draw it in. It's gonna go something like this. Pitch that one octave. Get something like that. All right, let's open up Alchemy and see if we can adjust this sound a little bit here. We'll take that one, it gives that really like roomy vibe. I 
except we're going to go ahead and pull in an EQ a little bit on this and just cut out a little bit of the top end. Maybe a lot more than I thought. All right, this last one, I want it to be a little bit brighter. So let's just duplicate this. Let's copy this down. Let's chop it right on the midpoint though. So it's nice and clean. And uh, for this sound over here, we're just gonna pull back the EQ a little bit. I want it to be a little bit brighter and so it shines through. All right, maybe there it's good. Maybe let's just balance this out. All right, maybe I'll just pan those a little bit like that. Next, let's go ahead and move on in our arrangement. We're gonna duplicate this part over. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and duplicate this pad sound like this. And we're gonna draw in a new pattern over here. So for this one, we're gonna use that same pad sound. And uh, it's gonna go something like this. Pitch this up. I might take out the EQ. And we're gonna get that shimmer sound. So I just pull this back. And up here we have something happening. Dun, dun. It's gonna go up and then down. Right, so there's that right there. Then we're gonna go ahead and just duplicate this over. Just copy that down here. And uh, we're gonna copy over this pattern, except we're gonna move it to hit on the one. And it's gonna go something like this. All right, so there's that pattern right over there. Next, it's going to create a new software instrument track. And let's add in that guitar sound. So we're going to go ahead and just draw in our mini Eugen first. We're going to go over to our browser library over here. We're going to go over to Legacy. We're going to go to GarageBand. We're going to go to Guitars. And we're going to go to the big electric lead preset. And let's go ahead and draw in that pattern first. And then we'll manipulate the sound. Give ourselves some more room here. All right, so we're going to start off on the G. start right there So we get something like this. Way off on the deep end, like usual. All right, so then we're gonna go ahead and just open up this Guitar Amp Pro right over here. Now we don't want it too bright. So what we're gonna do right here is we're just gonna go ahead and pull down our gain over here. I'm 
pull up the master a little bit here. bringing a little bit more of that grittiness here. All right, so there is the guitar right over there. Next, let's go ahead and duplicate this pattern over. And uh, we are gonna go ahead and start bringing in some of the drums. So we're gonna create a new software instrument track. And uh, we're gonna bring in Logic's EXS24 sampler instrument. And we will be bringing in the Life is Good drum kit, make it nice and loud. And let's go ahead and start off. Let's start off with our hi-hats. It's nice, simple, and easy to do. Uh, I'm just gonna go over to my EXS24, turn on mono, and uh, we're gonna change this over to a brush tool. And let's start off with uh, eighth note hits. So I just repeat that. So that's it, that's all we gotta do for the hi-hat pattern. Next, let's go ahead and duplicate that track and let's draw in our snare pattern. It's gonna go something like this. All right, so we're gonna go up here. I think the pattern just duplicates itself. So I'm just gonna just do this right over here. All right, then what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go ahead and duplicate this up. We're gonna copy down the same pattern and we're just gonna layer it up with a clap. So let's go ahead and select all of our uh, snares here. And my clap, I believe I put it down right over there. Clear that up like that. Next is going to duplicate this, no, nope, not that track, this track over here. And let's draw in our 808 pattern. Go something like this. All right, let's just change this back to the pencil tool. We're gonna to go down to, I think there's my first one there. Make this louder. So there's our 808. Maybe we could beef up this 808 a little bit with some distortion. We'll bring in Logic's Bit Crusher here. And uh, I'm just gonna pull this all the way up. Just make that a little bit beefier. Just get that a little bit more energy. All right, so moving along in the arrangement, uh, we're gonna go ahead and copy over all of this. Copy that over. We're gonna take out this two pieces over here, and we're just gonna copy over this section. And it's gonna sound something like this. All right, and then we're gonna go back into this section over here. All right, and then we're gonna copy over this pad 
and we are going to put in and then we're going to put in a new pattern right over here so it's going to go something like this let's go ahead and open that up we're going to use the same sound on it At the end, we're just going to go ahead and put in the last note here. And we're going to layer up this sound with another sound just to make it a little bit beefier. So let's go ahead and create a new software instrument track. And we're going to bring in Logic's Alchemy. And we're going to go down to vocals once again. We're going to bring in a preset called Alien Swarm. Oh, we need to copy this down. I'm just going to shorten each one of these so that they don't last too long. Alright, and we're just going to bring in EQ. And we're going to filter out some of that top end. Just gives a different dimension to the sound. All right, we're gonna bring this back into play over here, and we're gonna bring back our drums. And then we're gonna go into this. And then we're going to copy over this section over once again. And that's pretty much going to round our remake. The last thing I got to put in here is just the future part, the transition vocal that he put in right before Drake's part, the future's part, the A part to the B part. So what I did here was just re-record my voice, set the exact same thing as future, so I didn't need to sample it. So I'm just going to go ahead and bring that in right now. I'm just going to go ahead and just pop this in here. So it's going to come out of this section and it's going to go into this. It's cool, man. I got red bottoms on. <sighs> Life is good. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like $1,000 on the... Oh, and then it goes into Future's part. So let's go ahead and just play back what we put together here. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. Listen to the remake we just put together. Future's track, Life is Good, featuring Drake, Drake's part. on life is good <laughs> you know what i mean like all right so that right there is features track life is good featuring drake 
Drake's part. Stay tuned for uh, Future's part coming out soon. We're going to go ahead and work on that right now. For your logic users out there, I'm going to go ahead and save this entire session for you guys. Place that as a downloadable link in the description box below this video. For your non logic users out there, got your back as well. I'm going to go and export the mini stems, audio stems, include the drum kit that you heard right here, and they can find that entire playback in the description box below this video as well. If you do have any questions on this or just want to chat, let's go ahead and talk in the comments below. And as usual, if you did like this video or found it useful, remember thumbs up, share this video, and of course, hit that subscribe button as it helps to keep the lights on. And uh, I really appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you on the next one. Later, guys. Peace.